I'd like very speedily to uh, propose uh, some of the areas that we believe are important in making that transition to peace a successful one. Firstly, I think a focus on good governance and economic development on a sustainable basis are very important post the conflict process. Secondly, I believe inclusion in defining outcomes is very vital. We tend to have communities involved in conflict and then it is leaders who define the character of peace. And I think uh, that inclusion in defining outcomes is vital. A third aspect is ensuring that when we develop new laws, they should incorporate the vision of a new society. They should include the dimensions of human security, the promotion of equality, and the enjoyment of civil and political rights, so that the population can see that peace actually means something different to their lives. The fourth element is that there must be constant interaction. There's nothing worse than having the leadership in Parliament defining what should happen in the country and assuming that the nation understands at all times what is being done. And a breach develops between the population and those who govern and determine the policy direction of a nation. So I think public engagement, community engagement, constant interaction, and the role of civil society, including religious institutions, women's organizations, and other bodies, are critical. Fifth would be to focus on positive values such as the notions of peace, such as the link between peace and development, such as respect for human dignity, women's equality, protection of children. So in a sense, have a vision available of these positive values which become the lodestar of the new nation. We believe it should become standard practice to transition UN peacekeeping missions into peace-building support offices once conflict ends, that these offices must be resourced and mandated to provide assistance to post-conflict countries in helping to deliver sustainable peace. There must be cooperation between UN as well as regional organizations in building peace as often these regional structures have the best touch with understanding what the core issues are in particular countries and communities and can assist in their particular regions. We believe that preventative diplomacy is critical and agree with our colleague from Rwanda that this must be a focal area as we seek to achieve sustained peace. We wish to emphasize the need for proactive engagement, preventative diplomacy, and my colleague has addressed the matter of early warning uh, mechanisms. So in a nutshell and in conclusion, Chairperson, political will and foresight to invest in prevention and to consolidate peace are critical elements if we are to succeed. Thank you very much.